Oh, hi, Kalimera. Are you learning Greek? I'm Anna, and I'm here to help. Today, we will be talking about Greek consonants, and not the consonants from the Greek alphabet, like the one that you can check here, but about the consonants that are combined together, and so they give us different sound. For example, let's say we have me, they pronounce it like ma, and p pronounced like pu, but together they give us a very interesting sound. Actually, we have two versions. At the beginning of the word, they're pronounced like b, like very strong and very voiced, like in the word Bira or bala. Huh? Bira, bala, b. In the middle of the word, they're pronounced like mb. So this m sometimes you can hear, sometimes you don't hear. It depends actually on the pronunciation. Um, so let's say, for example, umbrella. Umbrella. There is a short m, but much more voiced b. So that's why sometimes you don't hear it. Umbrella. It can be both obrella, so because we pronounce full of the sounds, obrella sounds a bit better to my taste. So I advise it to you too. Obrella, umbrella, umbrella is good. Okay, with the same logic, we have other combination of the letters, which is ni taf. So n and t together, they give us two versions. Sound d when they're at the beginning of the word, it can be domata tomato, domata, or in the middle of the word or a name, uh, they, they can pronounce like nd. There is a small, short n before the d sound. So it can be Andreas, Andrew, right? Andreas. So hmm, both are okay. You, you will hear Greeks uh, saying Andreas, definitely. But I would still advise Andreas with a short n, just to make sure that we pronounce it nicely. Okay, uh, next one with the same logic is Ramakap. So R and K together with, they give us again two, uh, two options. So in the beginning, in the beginning of the word we say G and in the middle of the word we say Ng. So let's say Gol when we watch football. Gol or Gazi. Gas. Gazi. Okay, and in the middle it can be nice suburb in uh, Athens, Pagrati, Pagrati. So there is a small N and a very voiced G, Pagrati. Good. Okay, nice. Um, about double, double consonants. Um, normally in Greek we pronounce them as one. So for example, the toponym, the name of Greece in Greek is Elava. We write it with two lambda, but we never pronounce them. There is no need to say it long, elada. No, 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 no need. We say elada. Okay, but with one exception. And this exception is two gamma. So two gamma are pronounced like ng, again, like gamma kappa, actually, in the middle of the word. So it can be, let's say, aguri, cucumber, aguri. So g is okay, and g. Ng, there's a small n, it's also nice. Anguri, anguri. Um, hmm. Clear? Two last combinations. Taf sigma gives us tz, like in the word pizza, pizza, or tsai, which means tea, tz, tsai, pizza. And the last one, taf zeta. Taf is becomes, becomes very voiced, so it becomes d, and so we pronounce dzin or flidani. Flidani. Hmm? So that's it. Not too difficult, huh? Easy peasy. Of course, <laughs> let's practice and read some some words together. So I write it here. Uh, you pronounce first, and then you check my pronunciation. This word. Cigarro. 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 A cigarette, right? Um, hmm. This one. Babas. Exactly. Babas. Nice. Good. So father or dad, actually. Next one. Bar. Exactly. Bar. And this one's also easy. Club. Club. Perfect. Good. Well done. This one. Ah, it's so delicious. Dzadziki. Dz. Dz. Dzadziki. Mm, you know the sauce. Perfect. Polinostimo. This one. Aglia, or if you want, Aglia. There is a small and huh? It, it would be nice. Aglia. 
Cool. And the last one? Korizi. Exactly, girl. Korizi. Very nice. Well done. I hope this uh, I hope this topic is clear. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. Uh, see you next Tuesday. Bye. Take care. Yeah. Yeah.